underestimate its power. Don't lose your head, use it. Figure that an atomic bomb dropped on a large modern city like this might kill 50,000 people. That figure might be cut down considerably if folks were properly schooled in individual protection. Hand yourself right and you've got a good chance of coming through. Do the wrong things and you've got a future like an ice cube in a hot toddy. Get panicky and get hurt. Forget about such things as the proper outfits to wear. Light, loose clothes to protect you against flash heat. The enemy was thoughtless. He didn't send you a formal announcement of the big blowout. And you're no quick change artist. Suppose you're taken by surprise. And while we're supposing, let's go all the way. Figure that this is the real article, not just a model. And you're there. Okay, you're in this town and you're on it. Right about here. directly below the blast, which we call Ground Zero, is just that, a goose egg, a lot of nothing. And out to a mile or more, the destruction's terrific, with only a few strong structures surviving. you are doing and get to the nearest safe place fast. Always remember, a flash of an atomic bomb can come at any time, no matter where you may be. You might be out playing at home when the warning comes. Then be sure to get into the house fast, where your parents have fixed a safe place for you to go. If you are not close to home when you hear the warning, go to the nearest safe cover. Know where you are to go, or ask an older person to help you. You know the places marked with the S sign? There are safe places to go when you hear the alarm. If there is a warning, you will hear it before the bomb explodes. But sometimes, and this is very, very important, sometimes the bomb might explode without any warning. Then the first thing we would know about it would be the flash. And that means duck and cover fast, wherever you are. There's no time to look around or wait. Be like Bert. When there is a flash, duck and cover and do it fast. Way to school on a beautiful spring day. But no matter where they go or what they do, they always try to remember what to do if the atom bomb explodes right then. It's a bomb, duck and cover. Paul and Patty know what to do. Paul covered the back of his head so that he wouldn't be burned and Patty covered herself with the coat she was carrying. They knew how to duck and cover. They acted right away when the flash came. If they had been at this doorway when the bomb flashed, Paul and Patty would have ducked and covered this way, like this girl. Heavy doorways are a good place to duck and cover. She will be safer too. We must know how to duck and cover in the school bus or in any other bus or streetcar. Duck and cover. Don't wait. Duck away from the windows fast. The glass may break and fly through the air and cut you. 
Sundays, holidays, vacation time, we must be ready every day, all the time, to do the right thing if the atomic bomb explodes. Duck and cover! This family knows what to do, just as your own family should. They know that even a thin cloth helps protect them. Even a newspaper can save you from a bad burn. But the most important thing of all is to duck and cover yourself. In any disaster, your livestock need protection too. In case of nuclear attack, Radiation is as dangerous to animals as it is to people. A good animal shelter is a two-story basement-type barn with a hay-filled loft. You can get better protection by piling hay along the sides of the building. This gives more shielding, and shielding cuts the radiation danger. There are many more farm facilities that can be adapted to serve as some kind of shelter. For detailed information, get your free copy of Your Livestock Can Survive Fallout. In an emergency, shelter your livestock, then take shelter yourself. Right now, as you're watching this program, suppose you suddenly heard... the wail of the alert. Would you know what to do? First, keep calm. Panic simply wastes valuable time. Gather all canned goods, blankets, and extra clothing. Don't forget a flashlight, a can opener, portable radio, and extra batteries. Fill all available bottles with water. Take everything to the shelter. If no shelter is available, Go to a basement corner without windows. Stay inside your shelter until you're told it's safe to leave. You could have made things easier for yourself by preparing all these things before the emergency occurred. Suppose you don't have a fallout shelter and you have several hours warning after the attack, but before the radioactive fallout reaches your area. What can you do? You head for a corner of your basement, away from doors and windows. Sandbags or concrete blocks, even bales of hay or fertilizer will give you some protection. Remember the important point about radioactive fallout is shielding. More shielding between you and the radiation, more protection. There are many things you can improvise if you have the time. But how much better to be safe? Develop a shelter project in advance. Try 
the local operator. Auxiliary police, probably. There are looters around already. Tell me, what about Barbara? I think she may have been exposed to radiation today. Think? Well, was she or wasn't she? I was bringing my class back from a trip to the aircraft plant when the bomb fell. As we reached the school, it began to rain. Rain that may have been radioactive. May have. Was it or wasn't it? I'm not sure, but to be on the safe side, you should have a test made of Barbara as soon as possible. What sort of a test? With a Geiger counter. But I, I don't follow you. If the radio particles have entered, they go to the bone marrow, causing a drop in the blood count. Now, but that won't come until later. Right now, a Geiger counter is the only thing that'll give us any indication. Barbara, child. Now, I'm not sure about this, but just as a preventative, I thought I should see the parents of well, all the Barbara. students who are with me. But wait a minute. Just a second. Would you wait here, please? Of course. Mother? Barbara, do you know a Dawson Lee? Dawson Lee? Well, sure, he's my science teacher. Why, is he going around making tests or something? Should he? Chief of Doc, he knows everything in the world about Adams. He worked on that stuff a long way back. He did? Only when they started making the bombs, he decided to give it up and teach high school. He did? Well, what did you do that for? Well, what would I... Why is he here? Oh, just a check. What kind of a check? To be sure that all the children that are on the field trip are all right. But what? Is he still here? Look, Barbara, I assure you. Don't leave. Hello, Barbara. The stuff is so... Is it very bad? But I only came to be on the safe side. But, but that kind of exposure, people could die, couldn't they? But we're not sure but that you were exposed. The blood comes no, off, Barbara. In about two weeks, the other sisters start showing hair, falling out, bleeding gums. No, but Barbara, I don't think. Did you have to come here and stir us up with thoughts like this? Don't go there. Uh, just a moment, please. If that's your air raid warden, you, you will uh, tell him that you want to test me to Barbara, but please let it be your own idea. Why? because I have my own very good reason. All right. We bring you now the nationally famous news analyst, John Daly, with a message of hope and inspiration. Mr. Daly. This is the report on today's bomb attack. I will not try to gloss over the happenings of these past few hours. We have been mauled badly by an enemy who hoped to destroy us with a single blow. In this, he has not succeeded. Throughout the nation tonight, we are working according to a long-prepared blueprint to carry out the two imperative tasks of the hour. These tasks are, one, to care for the wounded and the homeless. Two, to carry the war. I hope we didn't wait for Mrs. Mitchell. Carry out the war. They're from New York, the lower Westchester. They, they were driven out of their home. We found them probably of thousands of other in these cross counties in a shell. We're back by the middle of them. Well, we've earmarked these four people, Mrs. Mitchell, that we put up in your house. Yes, of course. I don't want to. On the fighting front. I don't want to die. It's radiating. The fire. I could see them all the way from Riverdale. Nobody left. I see them. 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 I see
the wind. Oh, out on the ground. Up there with that big cloud. I got soaked with a poison rain. Oh, I'm dying. Nobody was listening to me. I'm dying. 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 I'm dying
<laughs> it's right in the financial district. Let's wait for the all clear. There'll be plenty to do then. Civil Defense Headquarters for this region has just released the news that Ground Zero was approximately one block east of the Union Station. Emergency aid is being rushed into all devastated areas in the state. No reports are available at this time as to total damage of the nationwide attack, but the enemy is reported to have paid heavily in aircraft loss. This is Colonel Rad. Keep tuned to this frequency. Obey the instructions of your wardens and civil defense workers. Emergency aid is being brought in. Keep calm. They've enemy established Ground Zero, over. Union Station. There won't be anything at all left in the downtown area, Mitchell. Any word about your wife? What happened, son? There was a whole lot of preserves Mom had in the cellar. This glass went flying all over the place. You're pretty lucky at that. It's just scratches. We'll have you fixed up in no time at all. Mitchell, soap and water, methylate, no dressing. You go with the nurse, son. Doctor, will you fix up my brother? He says he can't see. I told him to stay inside, but he ran up the cellar steps. He wanted to see it. After the flash came, he fell back down. Then when I went over to see him, that's when the glass hit me. Almost our whole house fell in. Was he looking at the blast? He threw up four or five times. The fire engine gave us a ride back. He was sick all the way. Mitchell, decontamination and take this boy down to isolation. You can stay with your brother if you like, son. Can you fix him up? Well, he's a pretty sick boy. I'd sure like to call my mom if I could. She works downtown. Do you know if there's a phone I could use, doctor? Well, not right now. Maybe a little later. You go with the nurse. Doctor, that little kid, is he going to be blind? I won't bother him for long. The amount of radiation he's taking, he'll be dead. Take her to isolation. Aren't you even going to give her morphine? I haven't got enough for the ones I can save. I can't spare it for the hopeless cases. But it's not right. It's not human. She's suffering. She's in agony. Do you think I know it? I'm not practicing the kind of medicine you learned in nurse's aid class. I'm not practicing the kind of medicine I learned either. We're out of supplies and we're almost out of time. Our job's to save the ones that can be saved. You can call it inhuman, all right it is, but these aren't our terms. They're the terms that were handed to us. Show them where to go, will you? This way. Medical advisors warn that all water must be boiled ten minutes before using they because started of contamination. Biological warfare. All water must be boiled ten minutes before using. Because of bacteriological contamination, all water from whatever source must be boiled 10 minutes before using. Persons suffering nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea should report immediately to a first aid station or hospital. The enemy has sprayed many attractive. reservoirs with airborne bacteria. It is important to remain calm. Any illness should be immediately reported. All water must be boiled. The Joint Chiefs of Staff have released a preliminary report. Washington, D.C., New York City, Boston, Philadelphia, Chicago, Detroit, St. Louis, Galveston, Portland, San Francisco, Los Angeles, San Diego, were all subjected to heavy nuclear bombardment. My brother. My brother Jimmy. Yes, I don't know. <laughs> We'll take you back with us. You get some food, get some rest. It'll be better tomorrow. It'll be a lot better tomorrow. <laughs> 